हेलो डॉक्टर्स नमस्ते दिस इज मेंट फॉर एवरी डॉक्टर हु टेकन द नीट पीजी एग्जामिनेशन एज यू नो ऑफिशियली द नीट पीजी रिजल्ट्स आर सपोज टू कम ऑन थर्ड सेप्टेम्बर बट लास्ट ईयर इट केम अब टेन ट्वेल्व डेज अर्ली सो वी एक्सपेक्ट दैट रिजल्ट टू कम एनी टाइम नेक्स्ट वीक दैट्स अ पॉसिबिलिटी सो वॉट वी थॉट वॉज वील टेल यू वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ स्कोर दैट यू विल गेट एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ रैंक यू लाइक यू टू गेट बेस्ड ऑन द स्कोर दैट यू वॉट you all know that answer key is rarely released there is also a conversation and a rumor mill that says that this time the answer key might be released but we don't know that but because till now not a single answer key has been released because it's an online paper having said that there is one reasonable understanding that we have at this point in time that the 2025 examination paper has been relatively easier as compared to the earlier years and every rank score that we going to talk from here on will have some kind of factoring of the kind of easiness of the paper because we need to normalize the whole thing in terms of the kind of score that students are likely to get because the paper is slightly easier now one more thing that you must remember is that the last available data that we have where we actually had the score and the rank was for 2023 for 2024 that was not released so all we have in terms of benchmarking is what happened in 23 in terms of the score that students got and the kind of rank that they got as compared to how it's going to be this time around moderating or normalizing that or factoring in the kind of easiness of the paper and the number of increase of of number of candidates that happened over the last two years so let us go through this whole thing now this year see this the total registered students is 2.42 lakh in 23 it was 2.08 lakh and the total students who appeared for the examination is 2.3 lakh as compared to 2 lakh in 2023 so that's a 15% jump That's a fifteen percent jump between twenty three and twenty five, and that you must always remember. So we are one talking of a growth of fifteen percent candidates, and two we are also talking of possibly a relatively easier paper as compared to twenty twenty three, which is the benchmark year that we have. Because for twenty four we don't have a benchmark, you know, score versus rank kind of a thing. Now the other thing is most of you would want to be in a government college because it's very very easy for you. Affordability of a government college and also the kind of excellence that you have in government college is slightly different as compared to what you have in the private colleges and i'm not saying all private colleges some of them are very very good if you take kasura medical college amrita they are extremely good colleges but what i am about to talk of is that most of the students prefer government medical college because it's extremely affordable and the number of seats that you have in government medical college across md ms and diploma is 27273 this year these as per the nmc website at this point in time it might keep going going up as we move along i don't know about that but as of today it is 27273 and the private medical colleges have 22600 seats so all put together we are dealing with close to about 50000 seats exactly if you ask me it is 49000 this 873 these are the number of seats that you have of which 27273 will have extremely tight competition and the others might slightly ease off right so we essentially dealing with this kind of number 2.3 lakh students competing for 50000 seats close to 50000 seats of which 27273 are in government colleges if you take the reservation away then you dealing with again as a percent of that you dealing with about 13 to 14000 seats across md ms and diploma now what is the kind of thing i told you there were two things that were working in this score versus rank prediction one is you actually had a 15% jump in the number of candidates who took the examination and two across all experts that we spoken to everyone seems to concur that the paper this time around is slightly easier as compared to what it was in 23 and even 24 so based on that in our estimate and we gave you the 23 marks also so that you can actually compare in 2023 between 715 and 725 was the top 10 rankers right 1 to 10 this year because the paper is here but having said that if you keep moving up the ladder you know the margin of error is slightly lesser so it is 720 to 740 is what we expect this so what was 725 it might move up to 740 and at rank 10 what was 715 might go up to 720 marks so this is our prediction for the first 1 to 10 rank for 11 to 100 rank we are ex expecting even if you get 680 you likely to be in the top 100 ranks 680 in 2023 it was 676 so four marks has increased because of multiple reasons now you come down to the top 500 for 500th rank you if you get 660 marks you're likely to get 500th rank so between 101 to 
660 to 680, you will get that kind of a range. But if you about 500 rank, 660 marks. In 2023, it was 648 marks. Between 501 to 1000 rank, we are dealing with 640 to 660 marks. In 2023, it was 631 to 647. So suddenly you see about a 10 mark jump at the lower level and at a 13 mark jump at the higher level. And that is because at a top level, you know, you actually have similar quality. So it will not be so dramatically moving, but it will still move the 357 marks, which is what it seems to be happening here. If you want to deal with 1000 to 3000 rank, last year, 23, it was 600 to 630. This time it's 620 to 635. So now you see a variation here. What is 600 year has now moved to 620 for the 3000th rank. And previous year, it's 1000 rank, it was 630. Now it is 635. Right. So that is what we're dealing with. For a 5000 rank, we are predicting a 595 to 620. And in 23, it was 580 to 599. So now you see this, it's moved about 15 marks. What was 3, 4, 5 marks here has slowly started moving up to 15 marks here. Right. Remember this, this all we're doing is a prediction based on all our, you know, the way we spoke to experts and faculty members and people who train, coach students in various centers. This is a prediction, this is not the actual rank. Once the actual rank comes in, we'll also do another story of how exactly we performed as compared to how the actual ranks are, right? But this is a prediction. Remember this, this is X prediction. Remember this, this is prediction and nothing more. This is up to 5,000 rank. And all these students, by the way, will get a public institution, will get a government college seat. There is no two ways about it. Up to 5,000 rank, you're most likely to get a public institution. And that too, in all possibility, a branch of your choice may not be the college of your choice. Or a college of your choice may not be the branch of your choice. But one of these two will be fulfilled up to 5,000 rank. Now the next level, which is where the bulk of the students would be. Right? The bulk of the students, you know, last time around up to 10,000 rank, if you look at it, you at 547, you'll get a 10,000 rank. This time at 565, you'll get a 10,000 rank. And the range is 547 to 578 in 23. This time it's 565 to 595. So you see the slowly the delta opening up. Up to 10, 20,000 rank, 10,000, 20,000 if you look at it. Last time at 504 you got, you know, 20,000 rank. This time it's at 525. Right. And overall 504 to 546 last year, 23 year. And it's now 525 to 565. At 20,000 to 30,000 it's 490 to 525 as compared to 471 to 503. At 30,001 to 50,000, it's 450 to 490 against 418 to 470 in 23. At 50,001 to 75,000 rank, it's 380 to 450. And here, it's 363 to 417. And at 75,001 to 1 lakh, it's 330 to 380, which is 317 to 362. This essentially is what is likely to be the rank, the score versus rank kind of prediction. One more thing, it is very important for me to tell you. Now, one of the things that all doctors must be very, very well aware of is that in NEET PG, the number of candidates are slightly lesser when it, comes, uh, when it comes to, you know, taking admission in private colleges. Because of which, there is always a steady pressure on the government and the NMC to keep expanding the number of students who will take admission because quite simply, all the seats are not getting filled in, even though there are only 50,000 seats and 2 lakh candidates. Because the private institutions charge so much more in terms of fee, many people can't afford it. 90% of India can't afford it. So to that extent, the eligibility keeps expanding or keeps getting relaxed. Now, if you look at it very carefully, in, in 24, which is last year, we all started with 50th percentile. Across UG and PG, the 50th percentile at the first level is always common. 50th percentile for general category, NDWS. And for PW, it's 45th percentile and SCST OBC is 40th percentile. But because the seats could not get filled in, 23rd August, say, you, on 6th of January, they reduced the qualification to 15th percentile for general and 10th percentile for the reserved category. So what was 50th percentile became 15th percentile. And what is 40th percentile became 10th percentile. Even then, the seats could not get filled in. So what did they do? they made it to 5th percentile across all parameters. So, now I am not getting into the judgment of what is right, what is wrong. All I am saying is, 
if you want to do a good postgraduate program through neat pg into one of the deemed and private medical college some of them are very very good colleges also mind you right and it's a very expensive program then you still have a chance as you keep moving along because in every single year we have noticed that the qualification level has been brought down in fact in 23 it was brought down to 0 percentile last year it was 5th percentile which means anyone who appears for the examination is most likely to get a seat as long as you have the ability and willingness to pay for that in a private medical college and lastly and most importantly this is for every doctor that is out here i know for a fact that lot of agents reach out to you to help you to get into a medical college please be extremely careful about that we had heard multiple cases of how people were cheated because a lot of money was taken from them promising them a seat in a good medical college and that did not happen and the agent vanished away my only request is this is a very very important decision for you go and seek counseling from a very credible counselor people who are not taking money from the medical college but people who are actually talking for you fighting for you arguing for you and inform keeping you informed so that you take the best decision possible there are a lot of fake agents out there there are a lot of agents who call themselves counselors unless you understand how to reach out to a good counselor you might actually get get thugged because we've heard lots of cases where parents come to us saying we paid this man 5 lakh rupees and we, he's not taking a call and those kind of things keep coming up so my request please please this is a very important decision for you a lot of money is involved a lot of your time and effort is involved so be extremely careful of seeking out individuals who might represent that they will get you a seat in a medical college because it's so possible because all is happening through counseling mind you and it's the interesting merit list that is created it is very clearly possible that you might ultimately get cheated and that is something that we want to warn, warn you about by the way and to end the whole thing this is a prediction remember that there is great possibility that if you have if you qualify you will get into a, one of the medical colleges there is great possibility that the qualification level will also be brought down but you have 27000 seats in public institutions 22000 seats in private institutions and that's what we are competing for 2.3 lakh students are likely to compete for this 50000 seats that is an end summary for this whole thing i hope it helps you we'll soon come back to you and tell you what are the colleges that you'll get and what are the branches that you'll get based on the kind of rank in the next very next video you must you might want to look at that to understand what are your chances based on the score and rank that we predicted out here thank you so much namaste